Hey guys, welcome back. So in this one, we're gonna go ahead and set up TypeScript and make sure that our project can use TypeScript so we can get all the benefits that TypeScript gives us as we develop our project. What we need is to first install TypeScript. So we wanna run npm install. We wanna install it as a dev dependency because it's only gonna be used in, in, in development as all our production code will still be JavaScript. When we install TypeScript, we get the TypeScript compiler and that is gonna be compiling all our TypeScript code to the JavaScript code, but that's gonna be handled through a config file we set up. So let's install TypeScript. All right, so now what we want is to set up a TS config file where we can specify how we want TypeScript to work with our project. We have the TypeScript docs that talk more about what the TS config file is, what every option means. So sometimes these kinds of things can be overwhelming, especially when you're just starting out. In this case, we are going to keep ours really simple and we're only gonna use the options we will need. So I'm gonna go here and create a new file. So I'll do touch tsconfig.json and that's gonna go ahead and create a tsconfig.json file here. So inside here, I'm going to bring in this and then we are gonna be going over it. So it's a JSON file and uh, we need to specify the compiler options. So, so these tell the TypeScript compiler how to treat different files in our project. So we have allow.js, so we can still be able to have JavaScript files in our project. Then we have allow synthetic default imports. By the way, when you hover above the key, you're gonna get some details telling you what it's about. So you can see allow synthetic default imports enable us to be able to import a module even when it doesn't have a default export in the module. So you can read more about the details by clicking on the reference link. So if we click on Simo, you can see here, you see when when this is set to true, it allows you to import a module like import React from React instead of doing this, instead of writing it as this. So this of course comes native. If you've been writing React applications, this is what you're used to and that's what we wanna keep. So that's what that means. Obviously, there are going to be some other types of modules, even custom ones. So this allows you to be able to have that import functionality. So there are other examples here. Of course, we're going to be having our own samples as we code the project. So these are configs that you most of the times you don't have to worry about. We just set it up once and we continue to write our code. So one thing here that's important is the target. So you can see it says the JavaScript language version for the emitted JavaScript. We can specify the, the JavaScript language version to which the TypeScript compiler should compile our JavaScripts to. So ESNext tells TypeScript to use the latest available JavaScript language version that TypeScript supports at that time. So we also have some other versions. We have like ES2020, ES2019, ES2015. So we're just setting it to the later, latest one that's available and TypeScript supports. So the type roots, this is where our types are gonna be. So whenever we install a module and it has type definitions, they're gonna go in node modules at types. So we wanna reference that. And also we're gonna have some custom types inside the types directory that we created inside source. So at this point in time, we can go ahead and put SRC here, then slash. So then we want when it's compiling, we want to include all the files that are just relative to the current folder. So this file is in the root of the project. We want it to go ahead and compile all the files that are in our projects and deeper. And then here we have the files we don't want it to look at. So we don't want it, of course, to go in node modules, the config files. So if we have other files that we don't want it to transpire, we are gonna be adding them here. So right now this is enough, having a TS config file and also having TypeScript installed is enough for us to start working with types to start using TypeScript. So I'm gonna go ahead to the app.js file and change this file extension to be tsx. And that represents that this is gonna be a TypeScript file. So you will immediately see that we get some warnings here. So this is because we don't have the React types added. So we wanna add that by, by doing npm install save dev types. So I'm just gonna copy this and then install that. And also, if we hover above React Native, you can see we need to install types called React Native. So I'm just gonna grab this. So I'm just gonna copy this and bring it here. Okay. And now you can see that the types warning for React is gone. And even for React Native, it's gone. 
Okay, so let me remove this here. We don't need to. Okay, so now I'm also gonna remove this section. I'm also gonna remove this section here. We want to be working with it. So just remove it. So for the app, let's remove this. We are not working with them. Even this stuff. Okay. Get the style away. Make sure you have the safe area view. Let's import seats. Get away the status bar. This stuff we don't need. So I'm gonna remove everything. Actually up to here. And uh, just have the closing one. Have this there. Remove this trending one. And save. Let's just have a text. But now to test that TypeScript is working and we can use it. Right here I'm going to have a function. So I will have a const. Let's say get number. Let's say get year. So that's going to be a function that should return a number. So here I'm going to specify that yes, we need a number as the return type. So inside here, straight away you can see that since we said it should return a number, Right now it is returning nothing. So we want to have a return here and return one. And then you can see that the warning goes away, meaning that our TypeScript is working. And to just test it a little bit more, we are going to have to, let me just call this one get number. So it's going to take in a number and then return that very number. So let's say it takes in a number. A number is should be a number. And then should return that number. So let's just return the number like this. And uh, we can just use this syntax here since we are since we are compiling to the latest version of JavaScript. So now we can come here. Let's say we wanted to render that number, so we can just call the function get number and pass it a number. So you can see we get the parameter that we take in, and that now it expects to have a number. So now if when we don't pass, you see the error. So let's say here we pass test here. So when you pass this, you can see the warning there. And we expect it to pass a number here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change this one to one, two. And uh, now you can see that TypeScript is working. We can go ahead and use TypeScript. And our project, we don't even need to reload the project. It's going to pick up and things should be good. So thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video.